I've been interested in 3D printing for years, but nothing ever came of it. That is, until I stumbled across the release video of the E3D Titan Arrow and was blown away at how well engineered today's 3D printing hardware is compared to the stuff from 8 or so years ago. Since I have a CNC machine already, why not teach it a new trick? First I need to make a simple adapter plate to attach the 3D print head to the machine. I moved the spindle to make tapping these existing holes easier, but the spindle will stay put even when I'm using this as a 3D printer. Now to assemble the head. These type of 3D printers use a stepper motor to turn a hob gear which draws a filament of plastic through the mechanism and into a hot nozzle with a very small hole which deposits the molten material. It really warrants its own video, so for now just enjoy the assembly. First I install the brass nozzle into the hot end, followed by the heat brake, and then the thermistor. Next is the heater cartridge. After applying some thermal compound, I can screw the hot end into the heat sink. Next up is to make the sandwich of parts starting with the stepper motor and bracket. Then the drive gear and the reduction gear with filament drive. Tension spring and idler arm. Then Teflon liner and filament guide. The heat sink keeps everything cool right up to the hot end. And that's all there is to it.
With everything mounted, I can connect all the electronics and wire up the driver to my CNC control board's A axis, which will control the extrusion of plastic. As you can see, this is still very much in the prototype stage using components I had on hand already. A power supply for the motor and one for the heater, a PID temperature controller and a relay to control that heater, and that's basically all there is to it. I made a small polycarbonate bed with green painter's tape to print on for testing purposes. After some simple software setup, we're ready to print. And it went about how I'd expect. But with some tweaking, I was able to get it to stick to the bed, mostly. Yeah. But enough of boring squares, how about a boat? This is Benchy, one of the more popular models to print as a test. As you can see, it prints one layer at a time, building up the final object. This whole process took about 45 minutes. Not too bad for a first print. With the proof of concept out of the way, I can get started making substantial improvements. If you saw my live stream a few weeks ago, you saw me milling this heated bed out of a chunk of aluminum. It's 220 volts and 1500 watts with a glass top, and it's used to help prints stick better. A glue stick is used to provide a sticky barrier, or else the plastic can stick too well and break the glass trying to pry it off. This first functional print is a cooling shroud fan specifically made for the Titan Aero Extruder. I got it from Thingiverse and it'll be used to help cool the plastic quickly as it leaves the nozzle preventing sagging and over melting. I'll put a link to the page in the description.
With the part complete, I can remove the support material which was used to, well, support the print areas that would be hanging in open air. There's still some support, but I don't need to bother removing it since it's only a very temporary part. Now we have a nice ducted fan shroud, completely finished, except for tapping the threads for the fan bolts. You may notice I had to modify my mount to fit the shroud. With the fan shroud in place, I can print my second functional part, another fan shroud. This one should be of much better quality with the added cooling, which means I can print at higher temperatures for better layer bonding and not get cracking like you see where the fan meets the first shroud. You can see the part on the left with the active cooling looks much better and it's stronger too. So with the new shroud installed, I've got a pretty capable 3D printer going on. I hope you enjoyed the video. In the future, I'll get into more detail about the printer, as well as make some enclosures for the electronics. Big thanks to all the patrons who help keep me motivated to keep these videos coming. If you want to contribute, head over to Patreon and check it out, or simply give a thumbs up and share these videos with people who may be interested. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a lot more printing to do.